you so much to MGA and the Shadow High team for sending me these dolls today for free to share with all of you. Hey everybody and welcome to the doll circle and there's a big mess. As you can see some of the dolls are already out of their packaging. I'm talking about Shadow High series three. Can you believe that here we are almost a little over a year because series one came out over the summer during 2022 and now we have our third series and there's been so many changes to Shadow High. So as I go through all of the dolls from this wave, let's talk about what I liked, don't like, the changes that have happened, and how cool series three is. All right, so some of these dolls I already have unboxed because I was impatient. <laughs> Also, over on the Doll Awards, we've been doing a lot of focuses on, we would do live streams where we focus new things that excite us, and we actually did a whole hour on Shadow High Series 3, and we each unboxed different dolls, so that's why some of my dolls are already unboxed. But as we go over them, let's talk about where we are now. So right now, Shadow High Series 3 came out while you're watching this video about a month ago or so and they first were available on the website for MGA and then now it's out pretty much everywhere that dolls are sold that sell Rainbow High and Shadow High and we're going to take a look first off at Barry and I don't understand why they picked Barry for her when she's green. The names are a little a little off for me for some of these dolls but you know what I guess they've created so many dolls at this point with like name color puns they're gonna run out or something I don't know I would have went with a different name than Barry now this doll wow like I don't even know where to start with some of the pieces on here first off the hair is flawless these like Shirley Temple ringlet curls are just a total win for me just absolutely love it but to me it's this like the skirt with the actual pockets and you can like, this ladies like honestly don't pull out but they look like they could and they remind me of a binder like i think all of us in the late 90s going into the 2000s like you had a binder of cds whether it was a small binder in your car or a large binder with your collection i love that detail and i love the circuit board corseting top here and then these really chunky shoes like i feel like they just nailed it like this doll is just so beautiful. Initially when I first saw her color scheme I got a little concerned because it made me think a little bit of do I have her behind me? Zoe back here where it was kind of like that alien space green but the colors are very different and I just knocked stuff on the floor. But the colors are different. Let me show you because I did notice I was like oh they're very similar but they are different. Like I don't know how to explain it the hues or the tones like this one's more cool toned this one's still cool so I don't know how to describe it, but like a little darker green and then the hair obviously is a different color but the skin tone is different and initially when I first saw like the first images I was kind of like oh they look very similar but they're they're different they're very different which ties me into saying <laughs> that originally with Shadow High series one it was all about grayscale and then with each evolution like every series we've had more and more color incorporated till this wave which is almost to a lot of people's like surprise basically rainbow high in the sense that even the box packaging which I left one in the box which is lavender here and she basically looks like I mean if the average I would say consumer who is not like a hardcore collector walking by this if you took off the shadow high part would you think it's a rainbow high doll I think at that point yes the skin tone is not I guess of the natural world uh you know but I don't think that that would matter I think the average consumer would see this and just think it's rainbow high which is kind of going away at this point like I don't know, even with the show it's almost like they don't have the separation like they're all just friends now in this show before they had a more of a rivalry um I think the grayscale just didn't work for sales and numbers yes from the collector's perspective a lot of us loved it but I can definitely see that they will be adding so much more color as we've seen here with series three now initially I was kind of like oh no I don't really like that I like the grayscale I will admit I was saying that but these dolls I just love if anything they're maybe between series one and series three they're so different but I really love both of them because they're so different. Touching on the packaging there's a lot more color on this versus the original Shadow High packaging. Obviously each of the packages has a variety of three different characters on the back and then of course it's just the basic square cut kind of box that we're seeing now as the design no longer are they doing the curved edge to the boxes. Then going into one of the other dolls we have Rosie and this one has just really floored me. Initially I was kind of like eh. and then when I got her in person 
blew me away because look at the actual embroidery detail here. They could have printed this jacket on, but it is not. It's actual embroidery on top of like a fur coat. The inside is lined with cherries and satin, form-fitting dress, and then this beautiful boots. Like honestly, she's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And then one point that Johnny from our podcast episodes and the doll awards pointed out that the back of the tag, which I'll post a picture here, um, the tag is actually a patch sewn in. They didn't have to do that, but they did that. And that extra detail from a collector's perspective, I'm living, I'm absolutely living. Like she's just so beautiful. And I really love the very much red to her. And then we have this one, which <laughs> Pinky James, which also reminds me of Pinkly, which is from the new Rainbow Friends that just came out. I, I don't know, a lot of, I don't know, the names there, I'm just kind of like, eh, Pinkly, I don't know, Pinky, like, mm, I don't know. Not my favorite names, but things I do love about her are these nails. Like, literally, they all have longer nails, but this one, like, look how, look, can I see my finger in there? Look how long those nails are. Just absolutely amazing. Love the see-through boots. The braids are just here. I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. I will admit the skirt is boring. Like the skirt is a little basic, the safety pins are embroidered on, at least they're not printed on, but I'm not vibing with the skirt. Her makeup is beautiful. I love that she has like an under wing and an upper wing. I wanna try that dual wing look. I think she's really, really pretty. I love that. But I'm interested though to see, are collectors absorbing all of this new color with Shadow High? And then do we think that going forward, all everything will just kind of be the same <laughs> it may still say Shadow High and Rainbow High, but eventually I think they're going to merge everything. I have that feeling. I don't know why I had the feeling that it'll just be all Rainbow High or all something and that's it. I don't know if they'll change the name, but I just feel like it'll all just be one school and I don't feel like it won't be like a separation anymore. Ah, Scarlet has one of my favorite accessories. So this is Scarlet. Her hair out of all of them has the most gel. Like honestly, Barry, for how much curl she has, does not have a lot of gel. This doll, beautiful as she is. I feel like she's, I don't know, she's giving me like early 2000s, loves Twilight, loves to read because she does come with books with real pages in it that have little tiny words printed on it. The detail factor is insane, but the hair is chunky. Like the camera, I don't know if the camera's picking up that the curls are like smacking on each other. Like they're so loud. Her nails are interesting. They're, I think as long as Pinky's nails, but not as long as Rosie and Berry's. Um, so they're a little, a little long. I feel like the pants are and the boots are a little boring, but I love the hoodie. I don't know what about it. She's just very, I think I'm going to take Chloe's words on it here where she looks kind of like a vampire. And I want somebody to, to put her in like alternative clothing and like a vampire costume because her earrings have like a barbed wire look to it. Then we have the boy for this line because I feel like every wave has had a boy doll. <laughs> One is the loneliest number. Um, his stand doesn't match him at all. I feel like, I don't know why they had, I don't know, they went with a very blue stand. He is very unique because he's the first male doll that has longer hair. And I love that. I mean, we've seen male dolls with longer hair. I mean, look at the OMG remix line, right? We had a male presenting doll with longer hair. And with, with Rainbow High and we haven't seen that yet. Even down to, I love, they gave, again, they didn't have to do this. They could have just painted on his head, but his undercut is fuzzy. Isn't that just so cute? Like it's so cute. And even his sideburns are fuzzy. That detail, I've seen people actually take his braids out and he looks so cute. And then one detail that I've seen too that Johnny pointed out was that if you take his jersey off, his hoodie underneath is plain. It doesn't say anti-sparkle, it doesn't say rainbow, it doesn't say anything, it's just a blue hoodie. And that was one thing that I've mentioned in other videos where I, again, I get it, it's identifying the schools, it's identifying the toy line, but sometimes I'm like, oh, another thing that says sparkle on it. <laughs> I'm like, it's a lot of sparkle. I get it. But I really do appreciate that they just gave us a basic hoodie underneath the jersey. And even down to the jersey has a little patch that's embroidered on there. And it is made of jersey material and it's real denim with real laces. Like they gave him a lot of detail. They gave him so much detail. And that's one thing with a lot of these dolls. I noticed the accessories, even though they're still just giving us accessories for these dolls, but they did keep them at a $24.99 price point, which I love. I love that it didn't go up in price. 
They did, though, expand the accessories that they're giving us. So, for example, the makeup palette, which the other ones that had makeup palettes in Series 2 were like the same makeup palette over and over again, we have a different makeup palette. It's clear plastic. Let me see if I can show it on camera here. Clear plastic and says shadow on the one side, but I like that it's a little different. And same thing with the blush that they gave her for Rosie. This is Rosie's pieces. Um, it says shadow high on the outside. You open it up. It has the blush in it. And let me show you. See, look at that little handle there. She can actually hold it. Like that is to me so cute. And the print of the flower inside the blush is the same as her earrings, which is just everything to me. And then if you look at Pinky, she came with a little DS. And that is just so cute because the little DS and the little like headphones are just so adorable. Oh, so adorable. I know I'm all over the place. Just follow me here. Okay. I'm like showing all the accessories. I'm all over the place. This is what happens when I don't unbox while I'm filming. <laughs> but I did notice that the book that they gave to Pinky is an instruction manual for a game. And inside it's a real book with actual pages and pictures and words. And they, again, they didn't have to do it, but they did that. And I love that so much. And one of my favorite pieces I will show you is from Scarlett who fell on the floor. I'll have to go pick her up. I love, cause obviously many of us have been to Starbucks and they do write your name on the cups. And Scarlett's cup says Scarlett on it. I was living for that. All right, oh, I haven't opened lavender. Oh my God. Okay, so let me open up lavender. <laughs> we'll take a closer look at her. All right, got lavender out. I'm actually really surprised. Oh my gosh, her hair is so long. I've seen so many people already take the hat off, wash the hair, do, I mean, cause she does have a lot of, with a lot of gel in that hair. I love her pose though. I'm gonna keep her in that pose. She's just so pretty. She has side, side swept bangs, but I've seen so many people cut the bangs and she looks great. I love that she has glasses. I love the hat. The hat is just everything, but they didn't just give spikes to the hat. Look, she has this like hair clip on the back of her head. Like the detail on this is so great. Even down to the necklace is actually velvet on the back. So you, it's, you can tie it. The material of the clothes here is pleather, like lace, like they went, they just went off like this is just so good so good and look at the heels how weird are those right like look at the heel it's cut into it so it's giving us like high fashion something different that we haven't seen before just so much detail and i love that it ties in like her accessories are so cute she has a great she has like a dslr it looks like with like a ring light at the top and then she has a magazine and says circuit board chick and it's berry it's berry on there so it ties in all the dolls and the little teacup is so cute that is just i don't know i love how everything's tied together that is one thing with series three like i said we quickly went over all of the dolls but i feel like they all have so much just color they're so bright and everything i mean oliver and scarlet are a little darker but they're just so vibrant so i feel like going forward we will just be seeing color color sells well um i mean if you look at all of the dolls in general i mean they obviously tested it and accessories do better with kids right so they added accessories to the dolls and color tested better with people buying the dolls for kids so they added color to shadow high so will shadow high go away i mean again it's one of those things where i feel like now we're just going to see them all in one school all doing everything all together there'll still be some separation because obviously they have fantasy color bodies um versus obviously if you look at rainbow high they have like skin natural human in this in world uh, universe skin tones with like colorful hair and accessories so i i don't know it's gonna be very weird i i don't i kind of miss the grayscale but i understand that didn't have longevity i think i even said that in my series two video where i was like they're not gonna last because I mean, how many gray tone colors could you do? So I totally get why they decided then to add color to it for sales. I totally understand. But I kind of miss the grayscale from a collective's per collector's perspective. But honestly, they won me over with series three. I think out of all of them, I love series one because I love the grayscale, but series three just has so much excitement not only with accessories, but with the colors and just the creativity I've seen with so many people online just redressing them. I know I was all over the place. I hope you can follow everything I was saying. Comment below which doll is your favorite from Series 3, Shadow High. Scarlet fell on the other side of the table. If not, I'd be holding her up as well. <laughs> Let me know. It's so hard. I mean, it's, for me, it would probably be, oh gosh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably, I mean, Barry just wins because like with the CD and the circuit board is great. But this one's giving me, I don't know, kind of 90s, a little bit with the velvet choker, kind of the outfit, but not 90s. I don't know. And then something about this doll, just so beautiful, like the red and something about the form fitting body dress right there. And she just looks so great too. I've seen her redressed in so many different ways and she just looks amazing. Can I have a top three? <laughs> favorite top three. I know. I love it. I do love it. And I'm very happy with them. <laughs> Initially, I was like, oh, color again and shadow high, but you won me over. <laughs> Until next time, thank you so much to Shadow High and MGA for sending me all these dolls for free today to share with all of you. I, like I said, I hope they keep going with some of the darker elements mixed in with the colors. <laughs> Until next time, check out more from me in the description below, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, everywhere else that you find the doll circle on. There's me. Uh, also, don't forget to check out Whatnot, where I do sell off some of my older collection stuff to buy new stuff. And then also, of course, the doll awards are coming up. Johnny, Chloe, and I have been working really hard on that, and I hope all of you enjoy this year's award show coming up. And then also, don't forget, we do out-of-the-box podcasts where we sit and we talk about different topics. Until next time, bye everybody!